Hey there! Just taking care of a few things. Even cleaning closets need cleaning, you know. It's got all of my equipment in here, which is an essential part of my job. And it's important to take care of what I've got. I think that's why I love it here at Spring Street Elementary. If something needs cleaning, I clean it. If something needs fixing, I just grab my toolbox and I'm ready for the job. If I didn't take care of what I had, I wouldn't have the right tools for the trade. My hammer would be rusty, my mop would be dirty. Talk about a mess! But when I take care of my things, I am ready for anything. Speaking of taking care of what you've got, it's time to empty out the lost and found. Wow, there are some pretty cool things in here. But you know, there's so much stuff, I just can't keep it all forever. That's why we have the 48 hour rule, which clearly states, if an item or items remain unclaimed in the lost and found for longer than 48 hours, they are donated. I know, I know it's a harsh rule, but I have no other choice. If I kept everything that has ever been in the lost and found, I wouldn't be able to even fit a broom in this closet. That's why I try to tell everyone, it's important to take care of what you've got. God not only wants us to take care of what things we have, like not leaving your toys on the floor or keeping your room clean, but also to care for things like your bodies by eating food that is good for us. When we take care of what we've got, you show God and everyone else that you are thankful for what you've been given and we can be trusted with more. Well, I've got to get back to work. Have a great day and remember to take care of what you've got. One day, Jesus told a story to his 12 friends, the disciples. He wanted them to know the importance of being a good steward. A steward is someone who takes care of what belongs to someone else. Jesus told them this story. There once was a rich man who heard that the worker in charge of his business was wasting his money. So, the rich man called the worker and said, What's this I hear about you? Tell me what you are doing with my money. If you are wasting it, then you can't be in charge. The worker wasn't allowed to run the business anymore. He was worried. He thought, what will I do now? My boss will take my job away. I'm not strong enough to dig. I feel bad about having to beg for food. The worker had to come up with a plan to convince other people to give him money. Jesus taught from this story and said, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Jesus wants you to understand that everything belongs to God. He wants you to take care of the money he gives you, but there's more. God gives you time, a talent, and the world he created. When you take care of what you've got, you show God you love him and that he can trust you with even more. So take care of what you've got.